Hello, it's another bank holiday. It's another Mini Beano MB08 2019. Saturday the 4th of May, 04 05 hours British summer time. Calm, still, and rather fresh. Beanoing like the wind from the Hereford Beer House, which I like. Next stop, Hereford. Well, the rain has stopped. It's a little bit chilly. However, I am right next to the Cider Museum. You probably already knew that, but, you know. What a great place. It is May, so it is mild May. Actually, I think this is going to be the first of May. Two, two pints of mild today. Well, the second one might not be a whole pint. Anyway, this is stonefish mild. Uh, I'm not quite sure where it's called stonefish. It's got a picture of a stonefish on the front saying danger, danger. 4.4% alcohol by volume, so not from the strength of the alcohol. Limston Brewery. Brewed since 2008. Nicely presented. Bit of floor for Mr. Manning. Mm, touch cold. Mm. I'm going to give that B plus in a bit. It's a, it's a bit chocolatey. Malty, caramelly. Coffee as well, maybe. That's really nice. No danger, danger. I think I said butter milk. It's just butter. So let's see if it's in there still. Fucking side out. Well, it's here, and I found it. And because I'm Welsh, I'm drinking a cider called Silly U. U E W E. Cheap. 4.5% alcohol by volume. It says they like brown in colour. Yeah. Uh, oak and apples in the aroma. Certainly packed with rich apple flavours. Provide, provide. Oh gosh. Provide a dry tannic aftertaste. Be plus in a bit. I like it. I'm gonna stay for another half. I gotta be honest. And this. All right. Let's see some harbour beer. That's good. Turning into side today, this is Kingston Black, and 6%. It's quite sharp, and very dry, and less fruity. B plus in a bit, but I like it. It's really good. Micro pubs could be the RV way forward. Well, if you're out of the wind, it's warm. But the wind is cutting. I need some fine ales and I'm at the right place. It's mild me. Um nothing political about this I don't think. Anyway, this is brewed by mine host as a cuckoo brewery under the name of After the Harvest. This is House Mail. House Mailed. House mild, 3.6% alcohol by volume. The second mild of the day. Lovely. Anyway, not craft, but traditional and local. Mr. Manning, lovely flooring. Not much of an aroma, which you would expect from mild. Malty. Very malty. It should be warmer. The wind is cutting. B plus in a bit. Okay, so I can now post to Simon's Belgian and Trappist page. This is Duchess de Bourgogne from Brody the Hague. Mm, not sure about pronunciation. 
Anyway, 6.2% alcohol by volume. I'm going to give it an 8 minus without tasting it. However, oh, wonderful. I don't know. The aroma is. I don't want to say vinegar, but it smells wonderful. Completely different. Oaky, sour, tart, fruity. A bit of a classic. Oh, sorry, I'm going to like us. Live tasting. From Japan, Norway, where I believe they have lots of oils. This is Passion Town. 7%. Yikes. Anyway, um, sour ale with passion fruit. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet, fruity aroma. Oh, nicely sour. Sort of the sour, sweet, fruity, and creamy. Nicely different. I can see there is interest. Oh, so, you know, I've got B plus plus. Yeah. Okay, this is complex. A German beer, long brow from Munich, uh, South Toasty Land. Drinking in England in a tiny rebel glass. Anyway, this is a Dunkel Doppelbock. It was a dark double block, 7.6% alcohol by volume, and really, really malty aroma. Just like the smell of raw meat. Mm. I don't know, but that's a winner. I like that. B plus plus.